now for what's trending. Welcome back. The Olympic torch relay is finally ready to restart later today in Japan. The 2020 Olympic torch relay will restart at the J Village National Training Center in Fukushima one year and a day since the games were postponed by the pandemic. Over the next four months, some 10,000 runners will carry the Olympic flame across all of Japan's 47 prefectures with the postponement of the Olympics. The flame has been kept burning during the past year in Japan, awaiting the rescheduled games. The Tokyo Olympic Games are now scheduled from July 23rd to August 8th. You can enjoy all the action and drama right here on NBC. And it's so crazy to think about um, just a year ago, uh, you know, that all, everything was was really impacting us um, in, a, in a massive, really a wave. And then uh, the, the Olympics was, I think, you know, the first really big international event to have to get uh, canceled or postponed. So, um, you know, to see all this progress and hard work pay off and, and for these games to be coming back uh, is really exciting. And uh, I, for one, am, am very excited. Are there any events that you two are looking forward to in particular? Oh, I love the track and field events. I just love seeing, you know, runners from all over the world compete. I mean, it's and it's also just insane how fast these people are. Um, but I, that's my favorite, um, including tennis. And, you know, got to add some basketball in there. But right. it's really awesome that this is this is coming back and it's on the right path. I'm just generally excited for all the uh, all the uh, events that are going on. I mean, I know the ceremonies might be a little bit more scaled back this year, but just the fact that we're able to have these games and finally get them underway. I'm excited for kind of generally all of them. If I remember correctly, I believe swimming is one of those events too and, uh, and gymnastics. So there's a lot of great things going on. And then a quick turnaround too, because I believe the Winter Olympics happening in early 2022. So here we are, a lot of Olympics and a lot of excitement on the way. Absolutely. Speaking of things changing, you know, of course, things have changed in schools all over the world. Uh, for this 10 year old girl, though, in northern Italy, the hills are alive with the sounds of her schoolwork and goats. <laughs> Italy schools have been closed for weeks due to the spread of the coronavirus. Fiametta's mother leaves the house to work and her dad didn't want to leave her alone. So he took her to work with him. She studies with her computer on a table in the field on a mountainside 3000 feet above sea level. She said she's used to the goat's bells and enjoys studying outside. Where else can you pet goats when you take a study break? <laughs> Fiametta is hoping to return to school on April 6th when COVID restrictions end. But but, I mean, I guess, you know, this is actually a really cool way to, you know, enjoy your, your schooling. I mean, it's a nice distraction. It's a beautiful <laughs> sight. What, you really can't complain there. And you have, you know, a little furry friend next to you showing you some love. Definitely looks really peaceful. Um, my question is exactly what is her dad's job, right? Because <laughs> he says he just takes her with him to work. But that's a pretty... Uh, Pretty cool workplace, if you ask me. And again, yeah, just a, a, a sweet place, place to study. Um, but I think I would get distracted with all the goat friends around. <laughs> I don't know. It just depends on how much you get used to it. I mean, look at the video. It's really, it's really cool. I mean, it makes me think of goat yoga when you really think about it. Because we're dealing with, we're talking about goats here. And honestly, I would be, I would be up for that. I mean, you're stuck remote learning. It's better than being cooped up inside all the time. You get to go outside. You get to learn. I'm wondering how the internet's going to work with that situation because you mentioned. <laughs> You mentioned that the dad takes her to work. I almost want, I, I'm just guessing. I don't know the actual answer, but maybe maybe he's a maybe he's a farmer. Who knows? I mean, it, you never know. But it could, could. It's really kind of cool to see that. But otherwise, this other thing that's really cool. The votes are in, and there's a new Cadbury bunny for the first time ever. An amphibian is inheriting the bunny ears. Betty the Australian White's tree frog will represent Cadbury this year. She'll also star in a clucking bunny commercial coming soon. Betty's already featured in a brief sneak peek. This is Betty's first Easter. At less than a year old, she's already a natural at the bunny hop. Betty beat out 12,000 other entries, including a donkey, a, min a miniature horse, and a goat in addition to starring in the commercial. Betty will get a $5,000 cash prize. And we just aired an older version of this commercial earlier. There's a look at the frog right there. And I thought I saw this recently. Maybe it was as a sneak preview. But yeah, we're airing an older version of that commercial now. And hopefully we'll get, be airing a new one soon. But how cool is that? A frog? Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing about this. I think it's really cool that they're doing this. But I'm not a frog person. Oh, no. um, I had a really bad experience with frogs. Oh. So, I mean, I'm a little creepy. Out. Well, but you know, good for the you know, good for her. That brings up a lot of questions. We'll have to get into that experience <laughs> later. But 
Um, I, it must be really fun to be the person who sorts through all these submissions and, and uh, decides on a winner too. Because you get to see all these adorable uh, little animals dressed up in bunny ears and uh, with these little chocolates. So uh, that sounds like a great job too. But uh, congratulations to you, Betty, on being the uh, first amphibious uh, Cadbury bunny. It's very cool.